So there's this new movie coming out called The Balco Experiment. A really interesting looking movie trailer. It's supposed to be coming out, um, I think March the 17th, I believe. But from what I understand from watching the trailer, the movie seems almost as if it has a purge theme. Basically, all the employees were basically told that um, whoever kills the most people here in this vicinity, I guess, um, you get to survive. Where are they getting this whole idea of basically anarchy and everybody kill each other and no legal repercussions for doing so. Are they trying to display a hidden idea with these movies, you know, Purge and uh, Purge Anarchy and the Balco Experiment? It's almost as if they're trying to display some type of dystopic era that the government is planning to enact in the future or something. A lot of these movies often have hidden messages that end up coming to pass sometime in the future. That's what happened with 9-11. I believe it was the movie um, A Long Kiss. It had Samuel Jackson and a couple of other people in it. But it basically, um, one of the characters was talking about how, you have to, how he had to fake a bombing of the World Trade Center. And basically there's no way to really fake killing 4,000 people so they're gonna have to just do it the real way. And they were doing that in order to scare money out of Congress and it was an inside job and whatnot. And so basically they put a lot of these kind of ideas in movies years before the actual event takes place. See, with this movie, A Long Kiss, I believe that's what the title is called. Um, this movie came out in 1996 and the World Trade Center bombing was 2001 five-year difference. Many people will most likely say, dude, it's just a movie or, man, you paying too much attention to this, but there has been plenty of movies where it's obvious that the Illuminati and the powers that be were putting information in the movie so that it would, it would basically precede the actual event. And that has been a common theme for a long time. Even look at your really old movies from like the 70s where it talks about futuristic events and it talks about people, it shows people walking with devices that look very futuristic that you can talk to and it does what you want it to do. And it's like nowadays we got iPhones and Android phones and um, other devices that do all kinds of things that we would have considered to be very futuristic. Matter of fact, they even have flying vehicles now that they're coming up with. There was a flying motorbike where it has propellers and it propels you right into the air and you can fly on this machine. And so basically, my point in saying all of that is that they often put ideas in the movies first and then they later implement it in the future. So, I don't know. Bottom line... I think it's time for people to open their eyes and pay attention to the messages that are put forth in the media, whether it's in the news, whether it's in the movies, or whether it's in a freaking novel you're reading. Yeah. Bottom line, I think it's time for people to pay attention to the times and pay attention to what the heck is going on. They put a lot of stuff in the movies before it actually takes place. And so, so I don't know, the movie Purge. Um, Purge Anarchy and the Balco Experiment. What are they trying to tell us?